Hey guys, this is Chris again from CarScan, and today we're going to show you how to connect this USB OBD2 car reader into your computer and have your computer read all your check engine lights as well as display live data. Now before you even connect this OBD2 scanner to your car or to your computer, you need to find the right drivers so that the laptop can communicate with the scanner. So there is a driver on the CD that I've provided. Um, I would recommend going to the site and getting the latest driver so we don't have any problems in the future. And the site, which will be in the description, is scilabs.com. And you scroll down. And since I have a Windows 7, I just click Download VCP. Now once that's downloaded, extract it to your desktop or anywhere and you should be presented with this screen and download the version right for your Windows. So I have a 64-bit computer so I download the 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit, download the one right below it. So just follow the instructions and this will install the driver to your computer. Now once that's done, you can now connect your USB from your scanner to your computer. And now it'll say installing driver device. And it was installed. So remember that says COM5. You'll have to configure that to your program settings. So now, using the program of your choice, and there's many programs in the CD provided, uh, this is the one I prefer, is ScanMaster ELM. And this is a demo version, so if you want the full version, you'll have to pay for that. But there's also many other free versions on the CD, like ScanTool or OBD2 Scope. So in your program settings, you want to go to communication or connection, depending on the program you're using. And you want to select the port and make sure this port is the one that you saw that was installed on your computer. And if this is the right port, you can now connect the scanner to your car. So as with all the other scanners, you need to turn the car to the on position before you plug the scanner in. And now that it's on, you can plug your scanner right into the OBD2 port. Now once it's connected to your car, go back to your computer and click connect. And now you see that the interface is connected, the ECU is connected, and now you can read all your check engine lights by going into any of these tabs up here, or also the live data. So if I wanted trouble codes, just click read and you'll see when it's reading the OBD2 will actually blink. And since my car has no check engine light, it's no trouble codes. Now also in this program you can have live data, which you can select pretty much anything you want from your car to read. Throttle position, RPM, the speed. So you can have this running and connected while you're driving around and this will show the graph and when you're done don't forget to disconnect it from your car because it does drain the battery when the car is off and that's pretty much it thanks for watching